Hello everyone, how are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual. So thank you very much for popping over just to see what I got in my Sainsbury's click and collect order this week. If you're new and this is your first time here, this is What's For Tea. My name is Cheryl and we are a family of four from the west coast of sunny Scotland, but not so sunny at the moment. But yeah, we are in a beautiful part of the world so thank you very much for popping over just to check the channel out so yeah this is our weekly family food shop so everything we're going to need for the week ahead for dinners and lunches and that kind of thing we've been doing Sainsbury's click and collect for the last well a good few months now and it just saves you you know get into the shop and it sort of limits your contact with other people so that's been working out really well for us and yeah I spent 130 pounds and 52 altogether but I was £38 in the local butcher so although it looks off a high it's not that high and I will show you what I got from the butcher just at the end and if you do like these kinds of videos why not consider subscribing just before you go and everybody else if you give the wee video a thumbs up it really does help so this is a quick look at the receipt so £92.44 in Sainsbury's itself but like I said it was an extra £38 and I'll show you what I got at the end. So the first thing I picked up were these yogurts. Now we get yogurts every week but they don't always get eaten so I've got quite a few still there and these ones were an offer. I got some cream, I like to put this in mashed potato or a cheese sauce, something like that so a wee pot of cream as well and this is the smaller one. Also got some Stilton. I'm going to be doing a broccoli and Stilton soup. So do let me know if you want to see that and I'll pop a video up. And if I get enough of you saying that you want to see it, I will make that next week's video. I got some lettuce to go with baked potatoes and sandwiches and things. And also a couple of green peppers. These are our favourite colour of peppers. Not everyone's, but those are our favourite colour. Some cauliflower and a head of broccoli as well. That's for the soup. And an additional couple of tender stem bags of broccoli. We like to have these at the side of a meal. The wholemeal bread that we like is the just the bog standard basic wholemeal. We don't eat an awful lot of bread though, I must say. Picked up some milk, but we do get a milk delivery as well. Some parsley and some pink lady apples. Now these apples are tiny. Is anybody else finding that with their apples? They are really small. Some red, black and green grapes in a one pack. So that's nice, you know, for a wee bit of variety, I feel. Some tasteless tomatoes. <laughs> I like the tasteless tomatoes and also got some baby ripe tomatoes for everyone else. But again, I've still got quite a few tomatoes there. Some baby leeks. And again, this is for the broccoli and stilton soup that I'm going to be doing during the week. A big bag of Maris Piper potatoes and I think these are fabulous value at £1.39. There's two and a half kilos there. And I've seen this and I picked it up. Not something I ever buy but I saw somebody else with this in their shopping haul and I said I bet that's going to be lovely so it's a cheese and bacon bake. And then some caster sugar because I just wanted to top up what I've got there. I just keep mine in a big storage jar. And then some ordinary sugar for coffee and tea and things. Picked up a four pack of trifle. Mr. Watts for Tea loves these. I like trifle, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, but I can eat it. And then some onions because I was just about out of brown onions and a tora suet. I use this for puddings and that and dumplings and that kind of thing. So I was just about out of that as well. And also a swede. The Sainsbury swedes are lovely. And also some tomato puree because I'd run out of that as well. And this is the one that I like to get. Angel Delight. <laughs> Haven't had this for years and it just reminds me of being a wee girl. But yeah, we are big kids in this house anyway. So looking forward to trying this just to see if it's as sweet and tasty as I remember. Some ready-made chicken gravy because sometimes I make chicken breasts and things and you can't get, you know, enough juices to make a gravy. So I'll keep that for when I need it. Some diced chicken breasts and also some vegetarian meatballs. I've never seen these ones before and I thought they might be nice, you know, fried up with a red sauce. You know, if I make a red sauce and just add them in, have it with some pasta, that kind of thing. We do like a vegetarian day or two or a meat free day or two. A couple of cans of soup for the pantry. So a chicken noodle soup and a cream of chicken. A couple of cans of chopped tomatoes. I ordered the big ones. They didn't have any, so I've ended up with the wee half size. Some melt in the middle, smoked haddock fish cakes. We, we got these, we've been getting these quite regular actually and they are really tasty. 
some streaky bacon. This is for the cheese and bacon pasta bake that was in the jar, but I'm going to add this to it and I might add some chicken as well, just to make it a bit more, you know, of a meal if you like. Some square sausage and there are four in there, although it looks like two, there are four, but I did pick some of these up at the local butcher as well. And some Linda McCartney sausage rolls. Me and Mr. Watts for tea really enjoy these, you know, and I would not know that this was not meat. So yeah, we like them with some mashed potato and beans or something. The Mr. Kipling cake slices, they're all on offer at the moment, so they are half price and something else I don't usually buy. Some cup of soups for the drink cupboard and some deodorant because, yeah, I'd run out of deodorant. That's the one that I like. Some cayenne pepper and also some lazy garlic. This is really handy and quick to pop into a pasta sauce or something like that. A four pack of baked beans. These are the no added sugar ones. And I did manage to get these because they've been out of stock for quite a few weeks now. And I've seen this in someone else's channel and I'm not a big fan of these kinds of things, but I thought it sounded lovely. The sparkling grape. Very American flavoured grape some cooking spray and a couple of packs of dental bites for Jasper to help his teeth. He was at the vet the other day and he's got one tooth at the back that's causing a bit of concern so we're switching him just to the dental bites. Some conditioner and a big bag of oven chips. These ones again were an offer, they were a pound off these. These are normally three seventy-five, so I thought I'd give these ones a go. Our usual bag of jacket potatoes, we go through quite a lot of these because as well as having them at a the side of a dinner or a tea, we would also have maybe have one as a lunch or some a snack or something like that. Jasper's food that I actually ordered and these two wee sachets I did not, or trays, I did not order but yeah, he'll eat them anyway. I looked in the receipt and I definitely didn't order them so that's been a mistake. And then some lentil chips and these sea salt ones are lovely. And then from the butcher, I actually go to do two different butchers. I go to one for like cold meats and things and I go to the other one for meats and things. So they're just next door, more or less. So I'll show you what I got. And like I said, I was £38 between the two. The first thing out the bag is some bacon. Now, I love the butcher's bacon. And, you know, if you pop it under the grill, let it go nice and crispy. It's beautiful. And a sandwich or a, a roll or something like that. And then some corned beef again, just for sandwiches, for a quick lunch. In fact, I quite like corned beef mashed into mashed potato. It's lovely. And also for some sandwiches, I got some roast beef. So this is just beef top side and there are eight slices there. So we'll all get a couple of slices if we want to have a roll or, you know, a sandwich or something like that. So yeah, lovely. And they're very old school in this butcher. The one I get the cold meat from, they actually just write it on the paper. They don't, you know, they don't use a till or anything, which is crazy to me. It's very, very old fashioned. The next butcher I went into for the meaty type things or the raw meat. So I got some brisket. So this is a three pound rolled joint. And this is going straight into the slow cooker as soon as I've, you know, done this. <laughs> We will be having that during the week at some point and this looks wonderful. It's such a lovely, a big hunk of meat. And then I got some beef olives. Haven't had these for such a long, long time. And these are actually bigger than they look. And we'll all get one of these. And it's basically sausage meat and oatmeal wrapped up in a very thin steak. And they are beautiful. But like I said, haven't had them for ages. Then we've got some Scottish square sausage. Like I said, I did get some from Sainsbury's, but the ones from the butcher are just, oh, they're just so much better. And we would have these ones with like a tea or something in a roll with some soup. The, the plain ones from the, the supermarket we would just have, you know, as a lunch or something like that. So yeah, that was what I got from Sainsbury's and the butcher this week. So £130 is a wee bit on the higher side for us, but I did get quite a bit there from the butcher and some lovely cold meats and things and thoroughly looking forward to that roast. Well, it's not going to be roast brisket, it's going to be uh, done in the slow cooker, but I'll do that for about six hours on high and then maybe an hour on low, let it cool down and carve it up and it's going to be beautiful. But just before I leave you, I wanted to say a massive thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the new channel members as well. So Belinda, Mr B and Amanda G, 
thank you very much for deciding to become channel members. It's very much appreciated. And thank you all for watching and commenting and liking and sharing and all the wonderful things that you do. It really does blow my mind that you're still here after three years watching what I get from the supermarket and my meals of the week and everything like that. You know, it's, it's very much appreciated. You know, it's, it doesn't go unnoticed and your comments also don't go unnoticed. Unfortunately, I can't obviously reply to every single one now, but I do read probably about 90% of them. So chances are, if you've left a comment, I will have read it. And now what I do is I do add some comments at the end of Meals of the Week. So if you're interested in the channel comments, make sure to come back on Sunday just to see what folk have said. So until I see you again, guys, Guys, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.